Welcome to Xi'an. We are going to try some street food tonight. We're at the University District, right across from the Medical University. Look at the street, it's absolutely bustling behind me. There's students everywhere, there's so many street food vendors. Let's get something hot tonight, because look, you can see my breath, it is that cold tonight. It's absolutely freezing, but there is hundreds of kebabs, there's soups, there's noodles. Everything is waiting here for us to try, so let's go and get stuck into it all. So, one step. <laughs> and we're already going to choose something to eat. This is very busy and it's green noodles. So I think these are made from spinach or like green veggies. So we're going to try these. They look delicious. Can we have one? Oh, this Okay, this is quite the process here. So this lady strains the noodles and this gentleman here sort of puts the rest of the ingredients into the bowl. It's a lot, isn't it? Very efficient. That's a massive portion. Okay, maybe, maybe too big to start with if we're going to be eating a lot tonight. This is so fast, Pete. Look at the steam coming out of this big vat of water. My word. This poor lady must be absolutely roasting. What do you mean poor? I would rather be roasting. <laughs> oh my word, this stand here is just a printing money machine. I've never in my life, any country I've been to, seen a street food stand or a restaurant throw out food this quick because it's just people grabbing bowl after bowl after bowl. Must mean it's tasty as well. Yes. Excited. It's one heavy, heavy bowl. Look at this. Let me put my phone torch on so you can see. Wow. wow. Incredible. Before I even begin eating this, look at what they've done. They put the food inside a plastic bag and then in the bowl. And do you know why? That cuts down the wash because all they do, take the bag out, put a fresh bag in. That is genius. Shannon, I'm sorry, but we are going to eat like this forever so there's no washing up. Because <laughs> uh, you're on dishes. Yep. I mean, it's a bit <laughs> of an excessive use of plastic, but if it saves time on washing, it's completely acceptable. So, what is this? We have not really a clue, it just looked really busy, so we thought, let's start with this. Not sure really what to expect, let's give it a little mix. Yeah, as Shannon said, the noodles are green, so I think they're spinach noodles. Wow. I know. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh. Do you know what? Do you know what this is like? It's like a vegetable stew. It's got a sort of sweet tomatoey sauce. And then there's look, there's little chunks of potato and other vegetables through this. Oh my goodness. This, this on a cold night like tonight, absolutely perfect. One pound fifty this cost us. What insane value. And look, you get a big egg with it as well, some extra protein. This is just phenomenal. Mm. A little bit difficult to eat. My hands are going a little bit numb. But wow. This is not at all how I expected it to taste. It doesn't have that, you know, typical Chinese flavour which we are used to. Completely different. This tastes like almost like something you would eat back at home on a winter's night. See, what a um, good start. Sitting here, to me, yeah. it smells quite Italian. Yeah, it, it smells very tomatoey. It's a tomatoey sauce, it does. It's almost like a tomatoey vegetable stew. Mm. <laughs> Shannon, on you go. Oh my god, this is hard. Am I supposed to get this? Wow. That is so different. Very unique flavour to what you think any of the food would be like in China. Oh, it is so good. So tomatoey, that is so different to anything that we've tasted in China. The noodles are so fresh. I think that's why I'm struggling to pick them up because they're quite slimy. 
Mm. Wow, I didn't think this was going to be so good. I think there's some meat in this as well. Um, like here. It kind of tastes like bacon. So it's kind of got like a smoky taste. I guess you could kind of say like this is like a, like a pasta -y dish. Similar, isn't it? I was going to say that. It's like a pasta bake. Oh. Wow, this is so good. Yeah, what a great start we picked. It's got everything in it. Yeah, it does everything. There's veg, there's potatoes, there's meat, there's egg, there's noodles, and there's that amazing rich tomatoey sweet sauce. Well, great start. Let us finish this and then let's get straight back up there. Another popular stand, yeah. so go for it. As soon as one has just came off, a whole another load is going out. That just shows you how popular this stand is that we picked a good one. Janet, how do you think this is going to taste? Uh, well, there's been a lot of seasoning, so very flavourful. And I don't actually know. I think all the fat, um, like the skin, is melting into the meat. Because you can't see it after it's cooked, so it's going to be really tasty. I'm so surprised with how long we've actually been waiting for this. We've been standing here like five minutes now. That's because everyone is ordering like, I don't know, 20 kebab sticks per table. But I'm not complaining standing here. It's very, it's very fun to watch. I'm scared if it's too hot. It's hot. Let's just stop it. Mmm. Wee bit fatty. Wee bit. Oh. Crispy bit though. Yeah? Yeah. I would have liked it a wee bit longer, I think. But there's a lot of seasoning on this. I don't really know how to eat this. Do you think I can just like. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, that's better, eating it in like a full chunk. You get a lot of like, um, charred on the, the skin there. I don't know if you can see it. But look at the amount of herbs and spices on that. It's quite like a, a Cajun spice, it's very nice. Here's my technique again. <laughs> so we'll begin with the smell. It's very cuminy, it's very peppery, it's very it smells quite spicy. I'll give it a try. <coughs> oh my goodness. It's so juicy. <coughs> mm. Oh my god. I can see why people we're ordering handfuls and handfuls of these. We only get a small bit to try because we have so much more food to get through tonight, but the flavour. I must say, I am totally blown away at the depth of flavour in Chinese food. The Chinese food that we have in the UK is all sweet and tangy. It's all the same kind of flavours. Whereas we've came here and we've had a completely different flavour. I did not know that this taste existed in China at all. Oh, here we go. Got some sauce cheese, but yeah. The depth of flavour in Chinese food is just <coughs> unbelievable. Everything we eat, it just like opens up a new door that we didn't know was there. It's just crazy. We're going in for the sausage. I'm guessing this is kind of like a, a spicy or cured sausage. It looks very like chorizo. It's got that same dark purpley colour. I'm scared to bite this because it's just off the grill, but we can't waste any time. Oh, it's absolutely roasting. Let me just hold it in my hand. 
Whoa. Oh. Oh. Colour the inside of that. Oh. Mm. That is lovely. It's got more of a sweet flavour than a savoury flavour. And it's not spicy at all. The only spice is coming from that seasoning on the outside and it's not actually like overpoweringly hot. That's delicious. Wow. What but that's, do you prefer? Whoa, what do I prefer? I like the texture and the juiciness of the meat that we just had, but the flavour in this sausage is out of this world. Actually, just noticed while we were sitting here that we only moved one stand up. So let's try and move a bit further down because this street does not stop. Yes, we started here and moved on to here. <laughs> not even 10 feet. Oh dear, going to be a long night. So we only had three kebab sticks there and that came to 22 yen which is around £2.30. For a student in the street I find that very expensive especially that the students are ordering like 15 to 20 kebab sticks per time that's so expensive. Okay so time for something a little more traditional we're going to try some dumplings. Don't know what's in them but we're just going to grab one each because we've still got a lot of food to get through. So, I actually think you might need to buy a few bottles. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Here they are here. Um, like one? Nine more. Yeah. Three or three, I can play as well. Um, three or three. Three or three. Wow. Look at me, I'm so good at doing this. Shane, <laughs> <laughs> Shane. Oh wow, this is very professional. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. So, I'll kind of open one and we'll see what's inside. Hmm. I actually cannot tell if that's vegetable or beef. What do you think? I think. Yeah, it's veg. Hopefully, it's veg. Mm. Oh, it pop. You know, I think it might be leek. Do you know what the taste is reminding me of? Potato and leek soup. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll dip it in the sauce. Hopefully, that's not too much. Mmm. That is so different to what I thought it would taste like. It's quite vinegary. I think I can actually smell that from here. Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, I thought it was going to be like um, a chilli dipping sauce, but it's like chilli vinegar. A vinaigrette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never had something like that before. These are really good. Yeah, I'm still not sure what this filling is at all. No. Nope. No idea. Definitely veg. See what you think, Alan. Oh, that would have been really cool if I'd done that. <laughs> oh my god, my hands have like seized up. It's so cold. Mm. It's definitely veg. Don't know what veg, but it's definitely veg. I love the kind of sponginess of these. Like sort of like soft, spongy, chewy exterior to these. And then inside, it is, it's definitely veg, but it's kind of tangy in the middle. I really like these. I think I've had a bao bun with this exact filling inside of it and I absolutely loved it. The thing that we struggle with with eating things like these, we don't know what's inside it. So when we like it, we have no idea how to order it again. So can one of you guys please take a look at what's inside this and tell us? Because this is absolutely delicious and I would love to order it again. It's nice, it's not heavy or... Because when you probably look at this you think it's very doughy and heavy but it's not. Look, it's such light dough. You could eat a full tray of these on your own, no problem. God, to think I was only going to get one of these, we're going to have one each, no way. <laughs> one thing that me and Alan were just discussing is how amazing it is that they just stick to the traditions here in China. Like, it's absolutely freezing here, but yet the streets are still packed, the street food carts are still out, and everyone just gets on with it. Jackets on, no complaining, out having a nice night night having some really tasty food. And another thing, we are the two most wrapped up people here. There's people here with just hoodies on and there's someone with flip-flops on over there. <laughs> the people don't seem bothered by the cold at all. 
Oh look, I can hardly move my hands, they are absolutely freezing, I've got so many layers on. I've got my big panda on, I've got my hat on, a hoodie. Yeah, these people just, they're not phased by the cold at all. So that costs 10, so that comes in at around one pound or slightly over for five or six of those little dumplings. That is phenomenal value. Probably the best value for money meal we've had yet, I would say. That was so, so tasty. Although I could eat a lot more of them. Right, this one caught my eye as soon as we walked in here. Just a quick one, we'll grab this and eat it as we're walking. Look. Yes. Uh, you want spicy or non-spicy? Um, for this one, let's go non-spicy. Let's have something a little bit different because we always go for spicy, so... Guys, I wish we could smell what I am smelling right now. Have you ever been to like the rotisserie chicken counter in a shop or a supermarket? Oh, it is like this times 100. Let's see how much this one costs. Six. Six pair drumsticks. Six pair drumsticks, that's pretty good if you ask me. Okay, so we only have one drumstick because apparently Shannon doesn't want one. And do you know, every single day when there's something that I want, I say to Shannon, do you want one? No, no, I don't want one. And then she goes and has half of mine, so let's see how much of this I actually get to enjoy on my own. <laughs> Look at that, how charred that is on the outside. And you put a little bit of seasoning around it. Just... Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Oh wow. That is so juicy and so tender. And the skin has almost gone kind of sticky. And crispy, it's stuck to my teeth when I bit it there. Oh, dearie me. I'm not getting too much off the seasoning that you put on. There's a bit on the back here, I'll give it a try. Oh my gosh. That's the best chicken I've ever had in my life. Oh my goodness. Look how burnt and crispy the skin is on the outside of this. Shannon, do you want a try? Yes, please. Here we go. She's going to love this, I know it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Don't have any words. You've made me embarrassed. Wait, is that got the Shetland paper corn on it? My tongue's gone numb. <laughs> You've set me up. Oh wait, I think that's it there. Look, that's it's it. inside the chicken. Alan. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? I've had two bites, Shannon has just had four or five. Now my chicken drumstick is stripped to the bone. <laughs> He's an idiot. Okay, so we have a seafood stand here and they have oysters. So we're going to be a bit bougie tonight and get some oysters. They're not always my favourite. Sometimes I like them, so let's see how they are. Do you have two? Uh, here you have three. You can only get three. One, two, three. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Look at them just bubbling away. Eating me. <laughs> oh. <gasps> that is the softest puppy I've ever felt in my life. This dog, not the most gorgeous little boy you've ever seen. Look at him, he's so soft. I've actually been needing some puppy cuddles. I know, he's so cute. But look at this, <laughs> my hands are freezing, and the people who have served us have gave us a little stove to keep us warm. How friendly the Chinese people are. Honestly, it blows us away every single day. I would say this is up there with one of the friendliest nations of people we've come across. People are so welcoming and friendly. Anything to make their guests feel comfortable here. But let's try these oysters. I'm actually excited to see what street food oysters are like because back in the UK, oysters are eaten on a special occasion. They're very, very expensive. And another thing, 
they're eating raw, so you just tip the raw oyster in your mouth. And to be honest, I don't actually know if I'm the biggest fan of oysters. I think these ones have um, chilli and garlic on top. I am going to go for the smallest one. Do you like oysters normally? Uh, it's weird. I've had them like maybe on five different occasions and I've maybe liked them like two out of the five times. So this could go really bad or could go really well. Let's see. Oh, I'm actually scared. Oh, <laughs> that is well better. Oh my god. Very good. Yeah. Okay, 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 oh, 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 oh. Yeah, look. So instead of it being gooey, like we have at home, we actually have oysters on ice. So it's like ice cold goo or gloopiness. I'm not very good at this. A little bit. My hands are like numb. I can't really use these chopsticks. <laughs> okay, I'll just pick it up. Oh my gosh, my hands are numb. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, there we go. Oh. Oh my goodness. That is night and day. It's almost more got the texture of um, like mussels. Yeah, I thought that. Why on earth do we eat these ice cold back in the UK? That is like a completely different food. Right, there's one left. Who's having it? <laughs> Who's having it? I think Shannon deserves it. Shannon. You have the final oyster. I'll see if I can half it. No, you have it, please. No. Yes. Oh. That is so good. Isn't oh, look, it? I halved it perfectly. There we go. This one's for you. Thank you. Mmm. You can actually chew it and swallow it rather than just throwing it back. Yeah, that's why, why I actually struggle because it's very slimy. And you don't chew it, you just put it down in a winner. Whereas this, you can actually chew. Oh, that is well good. <laughs> I was always worried with like street oysters, I was like, ew. But they're so much better and so much cheaper. Is that the best thing you've ate tonight? Yeah, my favourite. Well, oh. oh, I've got three favourites. My top three are the oysters, the green noodle dish that we had and I also love the, not the bowel buns, what were they? Dumplings. The dumplings, I really enjoyed the dumplings. I've got room for one more thing to eat tonight. Sharon, you? Wouldn't say no. Wouldn't say no. Like, let's pay up and then grab one thing. Everything is starting to close now. It's nearly midnight, can you believe? But all these street vendors are still out as late as this at midnight. Cheers, Ian. Cheers, Goodbye. Oh, yeah, ten. Oh, yeah. That was ten? Yeah, it was only ten. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That was ten. It was ten yen. One pound for three oysters. Yes. <laughs> Are we going this way? Yeah. One quid a pound for three oysters. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. Ni hao. Uh, one. <laughs> Took a picture of the the board to ask for it. Is that like spicy level or? So oh, it's not translated, it's translated to mouth screen. Have you know the food, when you translate food, it just does not come back accurate at right. all for some reason. Pick a number, one, two or three. Um, okay, number two. Yes. Lucky number two. Lucky number two, let's see what comes up. Oh, chicken. I think we chose chicken. Yep. Really tasty. Cannot believe how quickly that chicken is cooked in there. That must be about a million degrees in there. How long was that? About a minute? Yeah, that. From, from raw to cooked in about one minute. Look how soft that is in the middle. What lettuce? Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye. 
Okay, final meal of the evening. We've ate a lot tonight. This looks like something, maybe a kebab, we were getting turkey. You know the way it's in this little pita bread. It smells kind of similar to the skewers that we had earlier on in the video. It's got that same kind of Cajun-y cumin smell to it. Mm. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm not even going to say anything. Shannon, I don't want to spoil this for you. You have to try this. This actually looks like something that you would make at home, Alan. Mmm. That is so tasty. Crispy bread on the outside, soft in the middle. The most unique flavour of the chicken. It's kind of like fajitas, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost like a Middle Eastern, like, kebab. Good ending. The perfect ending. How am I supposed to have a top three now? <laughs> Where is this going to go? This has actually been such an interesting trip for us because we're now starting to learn that maybe some of the flavours that we thought came from other countries actually comes from just different parts of China. I mean, the country is massive, so why would they not have different tastes as we go along? I think I'm going to have to say the taste of food in Xi'an is so far my favourite across the whole of China. I'm absolutely loving this. It's just such a shock as to how different it is to what we're expecting, but how good it actually tastes. Yeah, like, we only arrived here yesterday and every single meal we've had has been unreal. And I can't say that for all the other places we've been in China. It's just been so easy to find really, really tasty food. So excited for the next two days. But yes, we are finally at the end of our street food haul tonight. We are stuffed. I think what we've learned tonight as well that if you're struggling for food or street food, come down to the university area. That's where you'll find good, affordable and tasty street food. I hope you're impressed with how much me and Alan can eat. We're going to finish this off and head home so thank you very much for watching